There are lots of kinds of variables. Um, lots of things can be stored in variables, but there's a special kind that's particularly important called an array. An array is kind of like if we've been talking about those boxes before, a bunch of boxes that have kind of been thrown together and are connected in some way. So rather than just having one box, you have a bunch of different boxes, each with little labels on them. So for example, let's say we wanted to do the names of the people in my family. Um, I could set that up as an array, which um, had my name, um, Alex, my spouse's name, uh, Jamie, my um, kid's name, Jasper, and my dog's name, The Finn. Then if I wanted to print one of these, I could actually echo something like, um, my name is, now I'm gonna use something called uh, just a dot here. What that dot means is, it's a, it means concatenate, that is, combine these together. So, and X. Now, if I do X, it's going to go blip, and it's going to not know what to do. But I'm going to do X. Now, not one, but zero. And because it's a computer, we count starting with zero. So this is the zeroth element, the first, the second, the third. So this is zero, one, two, three. A total of four. I know that's weird. Um, but we're going to do my name is, and then the zeroth element. I'll save this. We go through the whole rigmarole, we'll, um, where are we? We'll go ahead and drag over the index. We'll say yes, replace it, and we'll go back here and refresh it. So it says, hello, my name is Alex. Oops, we have some punctuation issues, but no problem there. So um, that's one way we can do it. The other way is a special kind of array. It's kind of a pain to remember the zero with. There's reasons you might want to do it that way. Um, but um, let's instead do, I'm again fixing grammar because it bothers me. Um, let's do uh, something called an associative array. This means that we're rather than going to have naming them zero, one, two, three, we could name them something. We could name them me, um, kind of what I just said, uh, spouse, kid, and dog. Now what we can say is my dog's, oops, my dog's name is, and instead of saying x3 or x3, we can say x dog, and we'll have it over here. Um, nope, we won't have it over here because we haven't uploaded it yet. We save it, we drag it. We okay it. We could probably click always do this action so that I'm not having to okay it. Hello, my dog's name is The Finn. So um, one of the advantages to this is it starts to feel like you can kind of do some pretty cool stuff, right? Uh, if you have an array like this, we know that we're saying X, so we could probably, we were probably instead of calling it X, should call it something useful like name. Um, the, the name of the dog then produces the actual name of the dog. Um, that by itself, again, might not seem too cool. We're not doing anything too fancy yet, but in a moment, you'll see why associative arrays are especially useful for the web.